Hi, so basically, I know what you're thinking, this is kind of irrelevant, I know, but I think I should have done this like back then when it was actually relevant. And the reason why I'm talking about this now is because my friend met Kuropak and basically Kuropak was talking bad about me still, like not really talking bad but he was just kind of disappointed that my friend was friends with me. I don't know. Um, so he was clearly still salty and I kind of feel like... And I feel bad in a way because literally I've moved on and don't even think about him a second of my life. So that just shows I guess that I did affect him in a way, of course negatively. But yeah, I just want this video to set the record straight of how I honestly think about him. But before that, um, I'll just set up a short story if you guys haven't been paying attention to um, the beef between me and Kurapak. Um, basically, Kurapak is I guess the biggest influencer in Brunei and back then I was less than a thousand subscribers. I made a video um, talking about how annoyed I was by the influencer culture. So yeah, today we're going to talk about pride. Bruneians pride. Specifically. <laughs> and after that I mentioned him again in my podcast with Ibrahim Kamit. Kurapak, I get it, he's annoying. And after that I mentioned him again in my podcast with Jehan where I talked about his Controversy. Talking about other influences, do you hear about Kurapak Punya controversy? Oh my god! And then Kurapak blocked me. Yeah, and then Kurapak walked in and I was like, oh my god, that's lit, like he's here. So that's pretty much it. Like, I don't understand why I have so much association. I don't really understand why I have so much association with him. I literally mentioned him four times and that's it, like literally. And if you guys want to like pretty much understand it more just for watch those videos i don't want to recap it here that's way too long and it's kind of irrelevant to this video so yeah basically now that's over i just want to say that i don't hate kurapa i don't hate any influencer in general because one thing i don't know them personally of course sometimes i get annoyed by them and i cringe at their posts but honestly, I don't care enough to hate them. Like, I have so many things that I'd rather do more than just hate them. <laughs> you get me? But yeah, that's the biggest misconception that I, you know, I hate the influences. And of course, it's easy to think that I hate them because, you know, I literally criticize them and stuff. But honestly, criticizing and hate, there's a gray line between it. You get me? Hate is literally saying, fuck these people, um, they should um stop making videos or whatever and criticizing is literally telling them what they shouldn't do and what i think they should do you get me that's it like it's my opinion that's it that's all i've done i've never told them to stop making content because that's not my intention and never was my intention another thing is people think i'm a clout chaser <laughs> I will never benefit from his followers his followers is comprised of like I don't want to insult the audience, basically a different audience than mine, that's all I'm gonna say. If you like Kuropak, I don't have any beef, you get me? Like what you want, <laughs> I don't care what you want, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and as I've mentioned before this, I've literally just made 4 videos out of my like almost 100 videos. I've made 96 videos, wasn't about Kuropak, so why? <laughs> Why am I a cloud chaser? I don't know. And and about views, not gonna lie, it did give me a good amount of views. Like, honestly, like, I don't know, you guys could think that I'm lying now, but honestly thinking, I've never thought of making a Kurapa video and feel like, damn, this is gonna bang. Except for that video with Jehan. That's it. That's the only video that I was thinking like, damn, this is gonna bang. But other than that, it was just me mentioning them, like, by name, and that's it. One last thing I want to mention about cloud chasing is people think that I love talking about drama and that's it. Honestly, me personally, I don't really care about a lot of other people. Honestly, I just care about my family and my close friends and that's it. Um, I'm quite a private person and I guess I'm at fault for that, for creating this image of, you know, Brune News basically talking about drama, creating drama, getting into beef and stuff with other um, influences. And I admit to that and I'm sorry. Um, if you have that conception of me. And then that's the thing, like, as much as I hate, not hate, but I'm not interested in other people's drama. But the thing is, I love sharing my personal opinions. Like, I don't know, I just like talking. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and basically, what really 
made it worse between me and Kurapa was this video with Fasting Bro. Um, and then the literal title is Brunei Social Influences at Exposed. I was kind of like annoyed by this title, like Fasting Bro, I love you as a person. But online, um, I guess he wanted views, of course. At this time, he wasn't that big yet. He had 700 subscribers, I think. Um, let's watch this video and break it down. I want uh, something. I want... Drama? Yeah, I want some drama. Oh, dude, drama. I got a lot. This is... So, basically, like, you know, I, I spent like around 8 minutes, I guess, not talking about drama because, as I've said, I'm not interested in drama. And then, Fasting Bro literally had to say it <laughs> and be like, Bro, you got drama and stuff to talk about. You know, he wants something spicy. And of course, you know, being in someone else's video, you want to provide something interesting. Like, you don't want, like, to end up feel like, oh, I wasted someone else's day and then I didn't give him the mo the content that he wanted. You get what I mean? So, yeah, I ended up giving him some drama. One thing that everybody knows, the people in Brunei, many of them have fake followers. Annoying, like, it's annoying, but sometimes people actually work hard. Yeah, yeah. They gain following yeah. and then they make it seem because companies they don't you know they don't they don't jump, check they don't check our oh, hello chum likes you up you get me chum yeah and then basically I didn't even mention about Kurapa because literally he wasn't in my in my mind I don't know at this point I was over it already the beef between me and Kurapa and I was talking about I guess Daniel Safwan at this point let's keep moving on um until fasting bro literally. <laughs> Comes on and asks me about Kurapak. Tribute to some passion or something. You actually like like to do this too. Let's talk about Kurapak. There's things that I choose not to reveal uh, that happened behind closed doors. <laughs> yeah, he cut it as if like, you know, I, I was excited to talk about him. Like, because literally my reaction was like, oh my god, I knew this is what you wanted. So, not trying to hate, not trying to attack Fasting Bro, but this is why I am less inclined to be in other people's videos because. You can, they can just make you look like <laughs> something that you're not. I don't know, I thought it was more of a podcast format and it was my fault that I wasn't, I didn't check out his other videos at least before being in his videos. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> again, my mistake. Because he was supposed to come on my podcast. Oh, ah, you invited mm. him. Yeah. And, and then he, said yes. he agreed, blah, 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 blah. And then something happened behind the scenes. I've always said that I can't stand him to that because... So he knew. Yeah, he knew. The thing is, the people I bring on to my podcast aren't just people that I like, you get me? Yeah, so yeah. I'm not going to be biased. I'll tell a bit lah! So yeah, and then, so basically I ended up like spilling some tea there and then, um, and that's when Kurapa really got annoyed by me and he blocked me. Yeah, he wanted to come to my podcast and um, I gave him my phone number and blah 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 and then I honestly don't really want to talk about it because, you know, I don't really remember one thing and another thing I don't want to, you know, put fuel on that fire and again that's my mistake to keep talking that's the thing like if i don't want other people to make me look like this type of person i shouldn't have i mean myself look like that person at least so that's my fault good job fussing bro for doing that <laughs> like honestly this was i think if i'm not mistaken like a one hour car ride like one hour plus and then he cut it down to so yeah he cut it down to five minutes so Literally 55 minutes of it, I, one thing, didn't mention Kurapak. I talked about other things. I talked about balancing my life as a uni student and a YouTuber, um, balancing my life, uh, trying to keep my social life in terms of being a 19 year old, but at the same time, like uploading twice a week. I talked about a lot of other things that he didn't include, which is fine. Maybe it wasn't <laughs> interesting enough. <laughs> So yeah, I just want to apologize to potential collaborations. I, I don't know, I just don't feel like I want to collab with people anymore because, you know, I don't know. Unless if it's a podcast, an uncut podcast, that's it. If it's a cut video, like a normal YouTube video, fuck that. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need the extra exposure anymore. I'm fine with my current following. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think... That's... I think I've um, covered all my ground. Hopefully, you don't see me as a hateful cloud chasing kid anymore i don't know um one last reason why i'm doing this is because he's a dad um and i've said this a few times already uh I've, i don't think that he's a bad person i think the same thing as me he has an online persona and you know you may not like his online persona or whatever but that doesn't 
um, allow you to hate him as a person, you get me? And again, yeah, he's just a dad trying to feed his family and then I don't want to, you know, I love the kid to go to a good school <laughs> and that's it. I just wanted to move on from this situation. People still text me and then, oh, why don't you talk about drama anymore, whatever. One thing, there's no drama going on. Another thing, um, you know, I just don't want to cause these things to happen. I just hate being the forefront of hate or, you know, um, cancel culture or whatever. So yeah, um, I just want to now say sorry to Kurapak. Hey, Kurapak. And now I'm gonna finally put my ego aside, my narcissistic side behind me and um, Kurapak, if you're watching, I just want to say I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry for causing a lot of hate towards you. Whatever it is, a lot or a little, I did. I do admit that I did cause some form of hate towards you and um, I just want to say that again, I'm sorry. Hope you're doing well. You blocked me still, I think. Um, so yeah, I can't really check out what you're doing, but whatever you're doing, good luck. And to other influences as well that I have, may have hurt or attacked, I'm sorry as well. Um, I know I've grown to become friends to some people. Because um, honestly, I don't want to hate on people, you get me? I love to make fun of things. And one day there's going to be another Brunei YouTuber that makes fun of me and I'm fine with that. <laughs> Like literally, um, do what you gotta do and uh, yeah, it's cool, basically. But yeah, hopefully that sets the record straight. I think that's, I've said everything I wanted to say in this video. But yeah, no hate to Fasting Bro, no hate to Kurapa, no hate to the other influencers that I have mentioned in my 100 plus videos I've uploaded last year. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Arigato gozaimasu, arigato for watching, arigato for subscribing. Um, hope you guys love the new background. This is gonna be the new I'm chilling with Shafi sofa, which is gonna be epic Let me know in the comments who you guys want to see in my podcast and yeah Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and that's it. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Bye. Bye. See you guys next time